Hey folks, boy, I got a treat for you here today. I'm telling you, this is one nice looking coach. And guess what? It's a 2007. And by the time you get done watching this video, you're not going to believe it's a 2007. Fleetwood Expedition. This is a 38V model. And uh, this has got the big one slide on this side. See how it goes all the way down there? And wait till you see the inside. And then you got the bedroom slide on this side. Now this is on a Freightliner chassis. This has got a 300 uh, Caterpillar, cat motor. And it's got a little over 85,000 miles. But I'm telling you, looking at this coach, you wouldn't know it has that kind of mileage. But not that 85 is a lot for a diesel motor. Big 18 foot power awning out here. And you got an entry awning. And I'll show you the, uh, some of the storage compartments here. And lots of storage on this. Get this, brand new tires back uh, just about a year ago, or 2019, but they only got about five, 6,000 miles on them. And uh, brand new batteries in here, both the chassis and the, the house batteries. Got a backup camera, full walk-on roof, 10,000 pound hitch, auto leveling system on this. Push a button and the levelers come down. Please check out all the pictures and this complete video, because at the end of this video, there's going to be a code word. I don't set up showings just to show a coach. From the, all the pictures in this video, you're going to have a very good idea of the condition of this coach. And I'm telling you, for an 07, I just don't see paint that looks like this. And we had it washed recently, but the paint looks really good. Full body paint. And again, just look at all the storage. Again, brand new tires, brand new batteries. Uh, the, it's got a 7.5 Onan generator. And unfortunately, the generator hours uh, switch in there isn't working. So we're estimating that there's probably about 275, maybe 300 hours at the most. Because the folks that own it now, they just took it to RV parks and always hooked up to 50 amp power. Uh, this is a private sale and there is a clear title with this RV. Um, if you're looking for financing, Credit Union of Denver does a great job. They handle older coaches and they have terms up to 20 years on loans. And I highly recommend them. I've had a bunch of my customers or buyers uh, use them. Just a beautiful looking 38 foot V uh, Fleetwood Expedition. Now, uh, some of the specs, the exterior height is 12 feet, 10 inches. Get this, it's got seven feet of interior height. The overall length is 38 feet, four inches. Gross vehicle weight rating is 31,000. Gross combined weight rating is 41,000. Fuel tank's 90 gallons. Fresh water is 86 gallons. And you got 50 gallons of gray and black. The propane tank is 25 gallons. I've got Missy here. She's a current owner. You're the second owner. You bought this from your friends. Correct. You have a sister that's a little disabled. You want to take her traveling. I did. We and did, yes. Unfortunately, her health, it's not, she just doesn't want to do it anymore. Yep. So you're going to be moving to Texas to help her out. Yep. And plans have changed. Plans have changed. So it's time for this thing to find a new home. Somebody that will love it and take care of it as much as we did. Yeah, you've taken really good care of this. I'm very impressed. And the, your friends, My you friends. said every trip that they took in it, they would have the carpet, carpet shampoo. Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, wait till you see the inside. We're going to go around one more time real quick. Uh, anything special that you really liked about the coach? Well, I really liked uh, the fact that it had the two-sided fuel tank, so you could pull up on either side. Yeah, so. dual fuel is uh, definitely a plus. And this slide just had all new rubber put around it, right? This side, yeah. Yeah, this big slide right here. Folks, there's just an incredible amount of storage for a 38-foot RV here. But uh, let's go inside. And a new roof. Oh, yes, you mentioned that. You were in Texas during that big freeze down there. Yes. Coach got frozen. Froze. Roof kind of cracked or whatever. Yep. So you had a whole new roof. Folks, there's a bunch of pictures of the roof on my website. And then you had some problems with the plumbing underneath. Underneath. So all new plumbing. Underneath. Yes. Underneath. Yep. So folks, it's got new roof and new plumbing. And new windshield, what, a couple years ago? 2019 before we bought it from my friends. And it looks really good. And then they had the tires put on before you bought it. Correct. All right, we're going to go in. Hang on, folks. I've got my hands full here. But let's go ahead and go in. I'm going to go turn this way real quick. Now, both these seats 
The driver and passenger seats are level and power seats, and it, the passenger seat reclines, and they both swivel. But wait till you look how this opens up in here. With this big slide down this side, folks, this just is just a neat floor plan. I left the cushions up on the sofa because this has got a fold-out bed. I just didn't fold it out. And then you've got a big kitchen with a lot of counter space. And then having this recliner right here must have been nice. Yeah, because we would sit there and we could just talk. Uh -huh. And it made it really nice. We set up a car table and we could play games. Convection and microwave oven. Yep. It made it so we, if it was hot out, we didn't have to use the oven because it's got a full oven. Because, yeah, a three burner stove and then a big refrigerator. And super clean. I mean, you guys have taken really good care of this. Really impressed. But look at this floor. This is a 2007. And this is the original carpet. You're just not going to find carpet that looks like this in a 2007 booth sleeper dinette uh lots of storage compartments all over through the whole coach wait till you see all the pictures folks now look how this bedroom opens up you've got the sink and and you know area to get dressed and then a queen size bed bunch of storage under there big closet back there now look at this shower the bed, let me say something about the bed yeah. really quick, is the sleep number bed. Exactly. So, like, I like it really hard, uh -huh. and then my sister likes it really soft, so. <clears throat> this shower, folks, I stepped in it, and I'm 5'9", and somebody's six seven, six eight. because look at this dome area up here. It just adds a bunch more height. So, somebody that's big, this is a perfect shower for them. Um, and then you, you, you said this recliner was real nice because your sister liked to watch TV. Yeah, and then I was back here in the bedroom because I could close this door uh -huh. and listen, you know, listen to some music or read my book or and some kind of activities. you got a washer-dryer combo unit. Now, you said you guys never really used this, but you did do a load to I test did, it out. I did do a load when we first got it, but since we were always in a nice place that had big washer and dryers, we just used the washer and dryer. Uh-huh. Well, you gotta love the way uh, this opens up. Yes, it was so much room for us. Um, what was great about it is when we had to spend, you know, 10, 12 days in Houston, it was perfect because we never really felt on top of each other. Right, you got two AC units, so that keeps things really cool. Did I like these colors of these cabinets. I and the, the way it mixes nice. with it, it gives it's kind of light, but you still got kind of a dark color. They put in a new TV, a Samsung up here. This does have satellite, folks, a stationary older satellite system that works with direct TV. And um, you've got an automatic leveling system. And it's got speakers all the way around. And it's got an Allison 3000 MH uh, six-speed automatic transmission. This is really a cool-looking coach. All these cabinets must have made... I mean, was all that counter space and everything? Yeah, but we did buy a little table because we felt like we needed more prepping space, so we bought a little island for it. Folks, this coach is located in Denver, Colorado. Again, showings are by appointment only for qualified buyers. We need at least a 24 to 48 hour notice. And what was the name of your salon again? It used to be called New Attitude. New Attitude. Well, folks, New Attitude is going to be the code word to this video. If you don't know the code word, don't bother asking me to set up a showing. I don't like to set up showings just to show. Uh, I'll probably ask you for a tentative offer so that we don't show it to somebody who wants to try to lowball it. Now, you had a tow vehicle with this, Coach. I do have a tow vehicle. It's a little tiny um, Jeep Liberty 2005. Uh-huh. And it's all set up to tow with this rig. So be Hence the willing. tow hitch piece that was in the storage correct. compartment outside. Yeah, correct. So I'd be willing to sell it with the unit. And how many miles were on that? It's 150. There's quite a bit of miles on it. And I just did some work on it. Some front uh -huh. end work. But it runs fine? Runs great. Haven't had any problems with it. Information in the ad uh, once I get that from Misty here, the owner. Uh, what do we forget? Anything? I don't think so. You going to miss this, Coach? I'm going to miss it dearly. I'm very, very sad. I, it's a great coach. I, yeah. I mean, there's so much room in here. I love the way it opens up. Again, folks, this coach is lo located in Denver, Colorado. Thanks for watching.